Rutherford Falls is back on Peacock for a season two. Let's discuss if it's worth your time. Hi, my name is Justin. I try to see everything that hits theaters and on streaming services. If you guys are like me, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. I'm excited to talk about all eight episodes of Rutherford Falls Season 2 on Peacock. Rutherford Falls Season 2 brings back the cast from the first season with Ed Helms playing Nathan Rutherford and Jonna Schmeeting playing Reagan. The first season of Rutherford Falls ended with a bit of a twist. Nathan Rutherford spent the entire first season working to save his family's statue from being moved, but turned out that he's actually not related to the founder of Rutherford Falls after all. So this continues into season two as Nathan Rutherford is questioning his own existence because he spent so much of his time and his life dedicated to a Rutherford Falls museum and he's so invested in his family's history. So in season two, and he learns that he's not actually a Rutherford, he spends some time really questioning himself and trying to find his own purpose. So many times Nathan Rutherford takes a step back in season two. Although I still really like Ed Helms in this role, more dedicated to characters like Reagan and Bobby Yang. There's a lot of interesting storylines that go on in here and a lot of it's dedicated to these characters creating their own legacy. And Rutherford Falls also has several indigenous writers that helped ensure that the show is both accurate and has the representation of indigenous issues. There is now five native writers on the show. I really like that relationship that was set up in the first season between Nathan and Reagan. They were friends for so long, but there were some conflicting issues amongst the two as Nathan was so focused on the statue and Reagan was focused on her own thing with a cultural center. And that's often explored in season two and they get back to that relationship. But like I said, there's a lot more focus on Reagan, Bobby and Terry as well. And I love that there's so many moments that Nathan and Terry get to spend together. Terry spent most of season one trying to sue Nathan, so they had some heated arguments. But in season two, both Nathan and Terry, they're trying to help Bobby with their mayor campaign. Bobby is running for mayor. And I think Bobby is a really likable character. He seemed like a really unique choice to become mayor. So both Terry and Nathan are helping Bobby with their mayor campaign. I like seeing Nathan and Terry work together and uh, them kind of putting their issues aside from that first season. They spend a lot of time growing as characters. He has his own things going on, but often he works well with Terry and that relationship between him and Reagan once again is explored very nicely and you see that genuine friendship that is built up throughout this season. This is a comedy, but it's one of those shows that I don't find entirely funny and that's not a terrible thing. There's a lot of comedies I just don't think that are funny. There's enough story and a lot of characters that I enjoyed that makes me want to go back and watch these episodes and make me want to continue it. I watched season one. I thought, okay, I only laughed a couple times here and there, but I was interested in where the story was going and I liked the characters. So let's give season two a shot. There are more funnier moments within season two. Uh, but what they do so well is that they take these real world issues and they kind of make light of it, but also at times it's very serious. They have these discussions about land and what is owed to them. They have those moments that uh, you can tell that they want to have this message and this discussion and it's important to them but also they want to integrate that humor and it works. At times it's a bit funny. Like I said, it's not the funniest thing I've ever seen. I love that discussion and the representation of the indigenous people within this series, but also some of that humor is integrated very nicely into it. I had a few chuckles within this season, but I think it does a nice job balancing it, making sure that it feels light as well, but also when they need that discussion, it feels very important. Season two had a lot more important stories. I enjoyed some of the stories that were going on, especially involving Bobby and their campaign. Bobby was so confident in their self. 
but also watching Nathan start to question himself and his own purpose, but he really takes a step back. But there is some important storylines for Nathan as he starts to navigate his time back in Rutherford Falls. But John is meeting as Reagan is probably one of my favorite storylines in here. She wants to apply to own some land. We see these struggles that the indigenous people go through to get their own land. We see that she has to fill out all this paperwork. She has to have all these different interviews and different things that go on. It's a struggle and there's a nice discussion around that as well. Overall, Rutherford Falls season two had some really great discussions. It integrated humor once again within it but I like the storylines that were developing. Some of the characters that were minor in season one had a chance to shine all in season two. But watching some of the characters also interact with each other was some of the best things within season two, especially Nathan and Terry. Bobby and Reagan had a lot to do in here and I really like that because they are likable characters and they had storylines that were very important to them. It was a chance for them to create their own legacies with in the season. Before I give you my score for Rutherford Falls Season 2 on Peacock, make sure to check out my channel. Here I do movie reviews, trailer reactions, ranking videos, tier lists, all that fun movie related content that you see on YouTube. I do it all here, so hit that subscribe button and get it all in one spot. I'm going to go ahead and give Rutherford Falls Season 2 a B plus. Thank you guys for checking my review for Rutherford Falls Season 2 on Peacock. Have you seen all eight episodes? Let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming content like this. My name is Just Watches Movies and you guys stay classy YouTube.